This screencast, we'll be looking at some of the new tools we've introduced in View 3 and how those tools can work together along with our extensive set of existing view tools to help you quickly build a rich and useful view map. For this demo, I've selected the Yellowstone to Yukon Initiative's website as a starting point to begin assembling my map. I've first created a node and then linked that node to a web resource which we'll use to generate more map content. By selecting Semantic Analysis of Web Content from the node's context menu, I've told Vue to send the node's resource to Open Calais web service for analysis. Open Calais will look at the text content of the page and pass metadata and categories back to Vue, which will then begin to automatically generate and lay out my map. As you can see, Calais has identified some very useful data from its analysis, but too much for me to focus on in this demo. So for now, I'll grab just one category of Calais analysis and move the rest of the data to a hidden layer on my map. Now that I've hidden the rest of the data, I can drill down and focus on one area. While it's clear that the automated analysis has given me a good starting point, I can quickly see some duplicates and easily remove them from the map. Despite the automated generation of data, Vue never loses focus that it's, this is the user's work and you are best situated to judge what is relevant to your map. Although the semantic analysis has categorized these locations as facilities, I'm going to go through and relabel them as a more logical term. Now that my map is off to a good start, I'm going to go ahead and bring in some more resources, this time from our Vue 2 data sources, but I'm going to add this data to the map in a whole new way using Vue's map-based searching feature. As you can see, I've gone and added some new relevant data using Yahoo Internet Search and New York Times Article Search, two data sources available to view. The new nodes added to the map are colored by the data source they came from. I'm just going to go ahead and quickly recolor them so they're easier to read. I will briefly go through the new data that has been added to my map and filter it to just what is relevant for my understanding. Now that our map's starting to come together, Let's fit it to screen and, and take a look at what we've done so far. In addition to using the desktop version of Vue, I've also been using the Zotero Vue plugin. In there, I've built a Zotero collection relevant to this map. That collection is available even when I'm using the desktop version of Vue. So let's go ahead and bring some of that data onto the map now. In this Zotero collection, I have a number of JSTOR articles that I've tagged by various facets. For this map, though, I'm only going to bring in articles that are relevant to Yellowstone. And now I'll, I'll link this new cluster of data back to the origin of where I began. In addition to my Zotero collection, I've also assembled an RSS feed of SmugMug photos, which would be great to add to my map. There are more photos than I know I can use in the RSS feed, so for now, I'm going to clear my canvas by hiding all the other layers and looking at this feed on a new layer. I'll then filter through and pick what I want to add to my final map. Now that I have selected a sampling of images from my RSS feed, I'll lay them out with one of our predefined layout algorithms and bring this new cluster back to our main map. And dragging the cluster over to it. Our map is really starting to come together, but I think we could still use some more digital content. So, I'll select some of the parks on this map and get the most relevant image to the parks from Flickr. The new images have pushed out the layout of my map a bit, so I'll just quickly rearrange them. Previously, we had used the map-based searching feature to add articles from the New York Times and other sources. But now, we'll quickly go back and use map-based searching again this time to bring in images from Flickr. This will be different than our last Flickr interaction because it will allow us to add multiple images on a single concept. Now that I've used many of Vue 3's new features to transform data from many sources into visual resources on my map, I can use Vue's presentation feature to bring my content together for an ad hoc presentation. I can then jump from my map to Vue's presentation mode to begin reviewing my generated slide deck, and of course with Vue, you never lose the context of your map, even while presenting, so I can always jump out of my canned presentation to talk about another concept on my map without leaving presentation mode. 
This has been just a brief introduction to one of the many ways you can use Vue to collect, organize, and present your digital resources. Visit vue.tufts.edu for more information.